At Del Mar this summer, trainer Bob Baffert had high expectations for his two-year-old colt, American Pharaoh. While his promising colt loaded into the starting gate to make his racing debut, his wife Jill asked about his chances. He asked me, so what do you think? What do you think here? What, we, we have a chance? And I said, uh, well, Jill, this is the, this is the best T-Row that, that I brought down here. This is the best T-Row in the barn. He said, uh, oh, good. But it's Om well, well clear, and Om just never gave them a chance. So all of a sudden, after the race, she turned to me and said, this is the best T-Row that we have. This is going to be a long summer. Despite being beaten nine plus lengths and finishing fifth place first time out, Baffert didn't hesitate to run American Pharaoh in the grade one Delmar Futurity in his next start. He came back and schooled very well without the blinkers. Um, it was just a different horse. I'm not one for taking a shot with a maiden in a grade one, but when he broke, when he crossed the, uh, the, the, the gap there, I knew, I told Jill, this, it, this is over. Man, he's in that big, long stride. I mean, he looked like, he looked like Big Brown. American Pharaoh, he's strong on the lead. American Pharaoh striding away, but American Pharaoh, the son of pioneer of the Nile, has absolutely annihilated them in the Del Mar fraternity. Wow, what a performance here from American Pharaoh. Victor Espinosa giving the fist pump as he comes down to the wire there. Might have found himself another derby contender for next year. American Pharaoh, because it's just... It's amazing. He has so much talent and he loves to run. In his next start, American Pharaoh returned to Santa Anita for another grade one showdown, this time in the front runner stakes. And away they go. I wasn't really sure. You're, you're hoping that he can go two turns, but you're really not sure until they do it. If he can go two turns, we're going to find out right now. American Pharaoh is strong on the lead. Calculators all hard chasing him, but American Pharaoh is all class. Scintillating performance from American Pharaoh in the front runner stakes. American Pharaoh, the best by a mile. Well, it was the Del Mar Futurity all over again, wasn't it? Just uh, uh, this time on dirt, and this time at a mile and a 16th. It's been a while since I've had one of this caliber at this early stage. You know, I've had some really good ones, but uh, you know, I've had horses like Vindication, Indian Charlie. You know, real quiet was one that was coming around late. It's it, this horse, just the raw talent of it all, and so the way he, he did it easily the other day is pretty tough. Two-time champion Beholder won the Zenyatta Stakes, the race before the front runner. Although Beholder didn't seem to totally care for the track, Baffert was pleasantly surprised to see that American Pharaoh ran the faster time. Beholder, who I think is a great mare, was struggling a little bit. She got a little tired, and he ran faster than her, so sort of just gives you an idea of how good he really is so um, and, and since then he's come back and trained really well so uh, really just it's just an exciting kind of horse to watch. Baffert now prepares American Pharaoh for the ultimate prize the Breeders Cup Juvenile. It's a race Baffert's won three times. Anytime you have Breeders Cup Championship racing they're not going to give it to you. When they give you the ball you have to run with it and uh, there's, you know, everybody's aggressive, everybody's trying to win. And I'm really looking forward to it and the Breeders' Cup, and it seems like every time I ride for Buffer, it, it just seems like I have a lot of confidence in, in, in his horses. Um, I feel like each horse that I ride, I'm sitting in the winner.